Hi everyone, Zoltan here and in this video we will take a look at the GTS 450. Uh, this card is from Gigabyte, it's a 1 Gigabyte GGDR5 version and I will need this in my uh, home PC, I mean if I'm at my parents house and I just want to open some Unreal Engine projects, really simple ones and this is the first acceptable performance uh, DirectX 11 card. It supports DirectX 12, but this support is just some kind of software support, all drivers, but it's a, it's a pretty good card, as I think. It's a nice upgrade for, for instance, uh, 9800 uh, GT or something. It has 192 CUDA cores. Uh, which is pretty okay, it's not as great as uh, 460 would be, but this currently requires one 6-pin connector, while the 4600 uh, requires two, so it's a low-performance card. It will be good to just put it into an office PC and upgrade the card. I have a Quadro card in this PC now with only 32 CUDA cores, so it will be just uh, good. Uh, the base graphics uh, core is uh, 783 megahertz, and uh, the shader clock is twice of that. Texture fill rate of 25.1, and yeah, the memory clock is uh, around 1,804 megahertz uh, GDDR5, so it's pretty good. And it's also 128 bits on a memory bandwidth, which will give us. Uh, 57.7 gigabyte per second and it's the same as the 9800 uh, GT it has PCI Express 2x interface it supports up to very high resolutions like uh, 2560 by uh, 1600 and yeah as you can see the card right here two DVIs, a mini HDMI two slot cooler, it's a pretty good uh, large fan so Probably it will be quiet. You can see the memory chips on on the back side and also you can see the girl who is unboxing now and she is my sister basically helping me out to make me able to read all the specifications easily and avoiding post process sound <laughs> addition or something like that. So yeah, I hope it will be a great card it's uh, made on a 14 nanometer uh, factoring proce process it's a fermi card basically nvidia's first uh, directx 11 card yeah it's a pretty nice blue pcb and so on so yeah it's just simply a quick look i thought it's uh, good to make a video about it uh, since i'm using it now, so you yeah, have 16 ROPs, uh, 32 TMUs, and um, yeah, basically really good card. OpenGL 4.6, OpenCL 1.1. So yeah, old card, but still, uh, I think it's a it's a good one. Okay, guys, so we might uh, do a test if you are interested. Just try it in a few games how it performs. But some of the YouTubers already made a video about how the uh, GTS 450 uh, performs in 2004, for instance, like in older games, it's a really good card for those games. And um, yeah, it's still fine for more modern games if you are just playing low or in low resolutions as well. So, thanks to you once more for watching. I hope you like this uh, quick preview and see you again in the next video. Bye bye.